The first part of this myth is a prank par excellence. A devious dude duct tapes his friend's car to a pole. The victim steps on the gas, but can't escape the grip of the tape. We all know if we use enough duct tape, you can pretty much stick anything to a pole. I think the whole point of this is see how we can keep the car stationary with the least amount of duct tape. All they need for this one is a car and a convenient pole. We're not supposed to destroy this one. <laughs> That is the last time we carpool together. Thanks to Adam's earlier test, the team already knows the breaking point of a single strand of tape. 67.3 pounds of force to break it. All they have to do is determine the car's pulling power and work out how much tape it'll take to counter that force. So what we're going to do is get the force meter, strap it to the car, and attach it to the pole. Then Grant's going to drive forward. At the point it stops moving forward, that is how much force this car pulls with. OK, that's 1,300 pounds. It maxed at 1,300. Let's do the math. The car pulls 1,300 pounds. One strand of duct tape breaks at 67 pounds. So in theory, wrapping the car 20 times should be just enough to stop it driving away. I say we just go for 20 and see if it'll work. You know, I think this duct tape might actually stop this car. Tori and Carrie play a prank. For science, you understand. Hey, you kids, what are you doing to my car? I have the sneaking suspicion that there are going to be prankster victims everywhere that are going to be blaming Mythbusters for this myth being true. And so we say, in the vain hope of pranksters paying the slightest attention, please don't try this at home. Mythbusters, next Wednesday at 9, it's all new on Discovery.